my friends uh, i am going to be talking to you about today the season of 5781 and onwards um, as you have seen the title i really had to uh, fight the enemy for almost a month and a half and uh, something broke loose and now i am here we have passed the test of faith and and i have come out of fire though it was not personally uh, it was not to me, but it, this attack was uh, against someone who was is very, very, who is very close to me. So, but uh, I had to fight the fight of faith. So here I am with that powerful message. You will not find this message any other place. You can check other five, seven, eight ones. You will not find this. But this is the Lord has given to me through dreams, through visions, even through audible voice. So that is what I will be talking to you. It could be in two parts because there is a lot to be shared. So, uh, to the, the like I just said, the Lord has given to me through audi uh, audible voice, one line message for Israel. That is something, you know, uh, brand new and uh, about the church also. So, let us um, dive straight into this message. And uh, we know we are in 5781. And this 880, we already talked about last year that it is uh, pay. Pay is mouth, which represents mouth. And um, but at the same time, now we are in this uh, is the next one is one. So that is 81, one. So one is Aleph. We all know, I'm sure you have seen it many other places. So one is Aleph and Aleph represents, um, you know, first of all, I will say in Genesis 1, 1 and all the way in Revelation 22, we see Aleph and Tav is Jesus Christ. And uh, I have shared it in my previous videos. So you can go and see the details. But at the same time, Aleph is the picture of his ox. And ox represents sacrifice. Ox represents humility. Ox represents strength. And uh, But at the same time, Aleph is Jesus. He says, I am Aleph and I am Tav. And who can be more? We can say that Jesus Christ is our sacrifice. He is the one who sac was sacrificed for us. He is the picture of humility. That is again Aleph. It is all Aleph. And, and he is the picture of strength. So what the Lord showed me in this um, in this year, and in, not in this year, actually, I always say is the season. It's never just one year to another year. It's the seasons that continue. So he said, this is the time. Tell my church that we need to be, number one, offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, which is Romans 12, 2. And uh, that is the picture of, because it is so much needed. And you will see why I'm saying that as we progress from here. So number one is he said, tell my people to be, offer their bodies as a living sacrifice. Like Jesus offered his body as a living sacrifice. He was a sacrifice. He is a sacrifice. Number two is he said, tell my people about the humility that he said and that he showed me also i mean this ox represents humility jesus represents humility who is aleph and tav and then i have this on september 1 i have this dream come vision in which i saw myself in a big room and where there were lots of believers they were all prostrate on the floor and i was sitting on the chair and we are all praying but then when i see them then i get on my knees and, and I say, okay, they are on prostrate. Let me get on my knees. And I got on my knees. And when I got on my knees, I, I had an angel put his hand on my head and push me down in the same position as the other people were. Totally a prostrate. And, and that is when the Lord spoke to me and he said, this is the time. Because when he tells, shows me something happened to me, he said, it is to the church. This message is for the church that tell the church to be humble. You know, I wouldn't have even thought about that. That how one Aleph is um, humility also. And, and but the Lord showed me through this and he said, according to this uh, second Chronicles chapter seven, verses 14, he said, tell my people, this is the time like never before. This is the season like never before and tell the people to the bride to the church because most of my, my messages are to the church and the bride those who already know a lot of bible also so the lord said that they need to be humble humble themselves prostrate on the floor not just only prostrate on the floor but humble in every other way to not to take offenses that quickly which is so prevalent in the among the christians that if somebody says one thing they may not even mean that that the devil told you that this is what they said and you blow up and and you take offense and you um, and and that is not the kingdom of god we can never work in the kingdom of god by taking offenses to what 
what the other people say and and the forgiving nature and and gen, being generous being being not selfish and being forgiving the lord is saying offer your bodies as a living sacrifice and humility which the aleph and which jesus christ teaches us in this new season and then he said also the strength aleph is also strength which bull is this uh, ox or bull is strong and who can be much stronger than our lord jesus christ so he is the picture of the strength also so we need to be humble but at the same time so far as the gospel is concerned the gospel of the kingdom the god jesus says when the gospel of the kingdom will be preached he didn't say just the gospel the good news about the salvation but along with that gospel of kingdom is gospel of salvation plus more so he said when the gospel of kingdom shall be preached all over the world then the end shall come and we are right now there where the gospel of the kingdom needs to be preached it is not being preached right now that's what the lord has been telling me about the churches and and uh, we will share that a little bit so this is what it is that he says that he is raising up so this is what he said in this new uh, new season that he is raising up an 11th hour generation 11th hour generation he is raising up those who will speak the word those who will not dilute his messages those who will whatever they get they will not be afraid of people leaving their church they will not be afraid of uh, income going down but they will speak the word they will feed the meat of the word to the people in this time because i will give you the example god said i am doing a new thing another thing he said he says i am doing a new thing and he said new thing in church and new thing in israel and i will share both of them in detail and 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 you will know what new thing you must have heard about new thing other places but i'm sure you will not you will i've not seen what i'm going to be sharing what new thing is talking about new thing in the church new thing in israel and israel like i said i got a audible message one line in english full sentence about israel which i will share most probably part 2 but in this also you will see what god is saying about new thing and about that he took me back to first samuel chapter 3 verses 10 to 14 and he is talking he says the the god um, almighty came and stood came and stood by uh, prophet samuel came that means in his room stood by samuel prophet samuel and then spoke and then he said i am doing a new thing he said i am doing a new thing in the house of eli and eli you all know was the chief or the high priest at the time so the lord said because of his disobedience because of his disobedience i am doing a new thing and that if we go to first kings chapter 2 verses 26 to 27 which i am not going to read i'm just giving you you write it down so you can read and you will know what um, the lord was saying he said i am doing a new thing and and then he it was finalized in in uh, first kings chapter 2 26 and uh, it uh, it was because of uh, eli's disobedience and you can go and see what disobedience was um, um that he was disobeying the lord and he says uh, in that he took the uh, priesthood from eli that is from the tribe of aaron and gave it to the men of levi so that was a total change that is a total new thing that he did and also we will see where also a new thing he did about was that he said i uh, he is birth a new kingdom the kingdom of israel he said i'm doing a new thing in israel and he said that new thing is the birthing of uh, israel as a kingdom very important word kingdom because we will come back to the kingdom so whenever god does new things it is a change total change from how it was before and how it becomes after he changes that after he does a new thing very important word kingdom so he said this is what i am doing so that the, so let us get back to the new thing in the church and he said in this season they he will be pouring out the joel 2 28 anointing that will break bondages and destroy yokes he is hiring right now he is hiring like never before he is hired already but he is hiring and he will continue to hire till the work is 
done and i will show you how the parable that he spoke to us and i will show that what he was talking about there that he is right now he will be speaking much more frequently to those chosen vessels and those chosen vessels can be pastors they can be um, prophets they can be evangelists and they can be spe specifically the healing evangelists the healing anointing is will invade the world the lord is raising up the healing evangelists and they will bring billions of people into the kingdom because people are sick everywhere and 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 this is what you know the lord has prepared um, is preparing right now also so this is what he said he's doing all of those things why because he said the previous not everybody but many majority of them they were diluting the message not giving the full message of the lord to the people they were not feeding the meat of the word they were just giving them milk you know you are just okay you know you are going to go to heaven you just come to church and and um, once whether you have said it from your heart or not once you have said from your mouth you are going to go to heaven so that doesn't work so the thing is because it says you to believe in your heart that is romans 10 9 10 very clear confess with your mouth believe in your heart those two things have to be there before you are saved so that is very important so this is what the lord says now he's raising out the chosen ones chosen ones in this this 11th pay attention to 11th hour generation i will come to an I will explain all of that the 11th hour generation he's raising up so so many things we just talked about the new things that he's doing i will not repeat you can go back and listen to those again and you will see what new things he is doing and also before that what what year one um this uh, 81 one represents and what he's expecting from us and he is he is still hiring the people he's still hiring the people because he said there is a time now we are in a time we are in a season where there is a transition of one dispensation pay attention please he's saying there is a this is a season where um, there is a transition from one dispensation to another dispensation is is coming that could be maybe another five years ten years I will not say five years, but I will say maybe 10 to 14 years, maybe another 20 years and a little bit over or could be more also because the Lord did not give me. But he said there is a when the transition starts, it is a time. There is a time duration there, but that does not mean that it transition goes forever. And, and we will talk about that. So when I say the change of dispensation, the present dispensation into the new dispensation, what is that? What is dispensation? Dispensation is a, um, is a word which is a Greek word and this is oikonomia. So oikonomia it means that it is a probationary period. It is a period so from starts here and ends here. So this is a probationary period. And he, these dispensations always, these probationary periods always have names. And those have a beginning. They have also have their endings. Then there is a purpose of God that he wants to accomplish in this probationary period and then he hires people to work during that probationary period to accomplish what purposes he had set and fixed for that probationary period so that is what in a simple words is dispensation so now he's saying we are in the dispensation of grace and this he's saying is this is the now transitioning and not that it is coming to an it may not come to an, an another 10 14 years it may not come to another over 20 years but he is telling us because it takes time for the people to change to transform and he took me back to the vision that he had shown me that i was looking up towards heaven and i saw a big open door and I saw Jesus Christ and I started shouting to the people, people look Jesus, people look Jesus all around the, you know, people that were standing around and we were looking up towards heaven. And I saw Jesus come from the left hand side of the door and he moved to the right hand side of the door. And, and, uh, and then after that, it was, which I discussed, shared, you can go to the previous video and you can see the details. But the Lord said, that this is what he was showing to me that the time is here that the lord is changing the dispensation when the lord moves from this side to this side and he said he this is the time of change transition of dispensation of grace to the dispensation of eternal kingdom what is eternal kingdom that is the millennial millennial kingdom so please pay attention i am not saying the dispensation of grace is ending right now no i am saying is it is in a transition what i am saying is that 
the dispensation of grace will continue till the rapture take place and the rapture will take place seven years before at least till the kingdom the eternal kingdom the millennial kingdom is established so we still have the dispensation of grace right now but it is in the process of transition and that is what the lord was showing up about this so he said this is what it means my moving from this side to this side is change coming in the dispensation also and you know like we we know the dispensation of law was there moses approximately 2000 years the dispensation of grace and now there's approximately 2000 years from the death and resurrection of jesus and the coming of the holy spirit because that is when the kingdom of heaven started also with the coming of the holy spirit and it has been growing since then and this kingdom of heaven will establish finally go into the those who are in the kingdom of heaven will go into the eternal kingdom because we all will be raptured we will be with jesus for seven years Years, having the marriage supper of the lamb and where the people will be going on this earth through very very bad timings and then after seven years when we come back the tribulation will be ending by that time because jesus comes he will take the charge of everything and we will be with him in that eternal kingdom which is in new jerusalem millennial kingdom so this is what he's saying transition because this is the last last dispensation we had many dispensations before but the last dispensation is from grace to eternal kingdom but like i said there's seven years before that rapture will take place so we are right now in that and and when i will talk the part two of the about israel this will make much more sense to you so wait for the number two because there is an audible voice in that also and what god is saying about that and then you will see what part one said they all match up with each other so let us go back to what he's talking about this this kingdom so let's go to matthew 20 i will not open up because it takes too much of time Matthew 20 talks about that there was a vineyard owner. He went at 6 in the morning, then he went at 9 in the morning, then he went 12, and then at 3, and then at 5. So what the Lord showed me, he said, this is the all, all the way back when the kingdom of heaven started. There have been, uh, God has had been hiring the people. God had been hiring the people. They had been working in the vineyard, bringing the, the harvest and bringing, but he had to go back again and again because he was seeing that that it the, the the laborers that were there they were he knew that they were not able they will not be able to accomplish and bring the harvest in that needs to be brought in so he, what he said he went again then he says okay still they are not uh, enough then he went again then he went again and he kept bringing more people more people more people and finally when it was three o'clock and now he knew the work is about to finish at six now when we are in this kingdom of grace is coming to an end is being transitioning i'm not saying coming to an end i'm saying it is transitioning to the eternal kingdom so now this is we are when he went back at um, uh, at five o'clock again from three he didn't go at six because six o'clock the work finishes the harvest is needs to be brought in before that so we are right now the people that he went out and he's hiring at five o'clock and there is only one hour left in between to bring the harvest in to bring the harvest in so right now he is not taking any chances he is raising up the people who have been through fire over and over again over and over again they have been through the tests of faith and and they came out each time they came out um swinging at the devil and and they came out because they were went through the fire of the holy spirit you can go back to one of my previous videos i spoke about that that the fire of the holy spirit was coming and this is the time just maybe few years before and right now ago and even right now there is a fire of the holy spirit right now this fire is like you know pruning it is like john 15 it is pruning those who are already producing fruit but then it is also the time of cutting off those branches that are not producing fruit and bringing in those who are who are going through the fire when when they come out of the fire they are on fire for the lord jesus christ and they are speaking the word they are speaking the messages of god with boldness remember we talked about the 
bull we talked about the strength the boldness of all of that so this is what is the time the when he went at five o'clock he knew that they it, the work will not end at six o'clock he knew the harvest is not uh, still in because the time it is being transitioned the time the season the dispensation of it is transitioning so he knew so now he is hiring those people who have been in the caves remember uh, elijah's anointing he has brought them out he is taking them through fires maybe still and and but they are being prepared because they will speak the word they will be like healing evangelists they will be the prophets who will not back off they will be speaking the word of god as he gives them with boldness and they will be the ones doing the signs and miracles happening because that is a very powerful uh, uh, anointing that the lord is pouring out right now that he'll be using in this 11th hour generation and the evangelists and the prophets and and the and that they will speak the word of god and those who have been diluting they are being taken out they are being taken out and god is doing that so this is what the lord he spoke to me about the church and there is so much more which i could not even get into we will see if we can get into the next one so let us pray father in the name of our lord jesus christ precious holy spirit i thank you i thank you the message that you gave lord it has already been given to the people and lord i pray that their eyes and ears of understanding have opened up and they receive the message that they have perceived and comprehended the message lord that you have given that they will pay attention to everything that you are doing right now and they will prepare themselves father and be not afraid even when they go through fire lord because you are bringing them out on fire and lord they will not lose the first love but they will be on fire for you father god almighty we thank you lord in jesus name we pray amen god bless